Today I'm going to pollinate uh, the second bloom. Actually, it's the third bloom, but this uh, the second pollination of my um, Fragmentpedium bessier. Um, you can see there's already a a pod on there. This is the third bloom. The first pollination didn't take, um, but the other one from a couple of weeks ago did. Um, at least so far. And you see there's actually a fourth bloom coming in on this plant. This is quite a quite a robust plant I got from um, Woodstream Orchids um, uh, this February. Um, it's, uh, it's very healthy so I'm very happy with it. Um, unfortunately I discovered that this is a plant that I'm not very good at pollinating and I did have to break the last flower to uh, pollinate it and we'll see if I can managed to do it without snapping off the uh, the pouch on this one which is this this one's not particularly this one got a little bent by the uh, you can see I don't have the best growing condition here for this particular plant and uh, it's uh, it's actually zip tied to the shelf here because I, I actually wasn't expecting it to to bloom and it just sort of threw off the uh, spike randomly, but uh, I'm going to record the uh, pollination because uh, it's, it's kind of fascinating. Um, let's see if I can do this. I'm not going to be able to hold the, cam the camera while I do it, so... Let's see if it works somehow. And uh, see if I can actually record this process. Focus. 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 And the um, all pollen is located right there. I'm I'm using one of these um, uh, little toothbrush things because it's disposable and I don't have to worry about accidentally pollinating, cross-pollinating something. Um, you see I have some, some pollen on there now. Let's see if I can get it in there without, without busting the uh, actually this is, oh, I lost my pollen. Oh, I didn't lose it. It's, it's just migrated. Like I said, I'm not particularly good at this, so. You can't really see what's going on there, but I'm I don't think I got it. It needs to get on this from here to this structure. Let's see if you can see it. Unfortunately, it's yellow, so it's it's blending in very well. It needs to get onto this this structure back here. Um, I'm gonna. Go ahead and take the pollen from this side too, and uh, tuck it back in there, and hopefully some of it will land on its target. I didn't matter. I managed to not break the break the bloom for a change, which. Most species I can manage. I can actually do it with the much smaller Mexipedium, but uh, the structure of this this was just so that I struggled with it. So it's pollinated now. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. Um, this one's not a like I said. This is not a particularly attractive one, so I don't. I didn't mind uh, if if it had a struggle, but it it's mostly still intact. Hopefully that will 
that will that will take. 